Hi, right, what's up guys? What's up? What's up? Let me show you. Let me know. Let me know. Please, if you are hearing my voice, let me uh just let me know if you are here. Let me know if you are here and you can hear my voice. And let me know if you are here and you can hear my voice. Let me know if you can hear my voice. Can I just comment if you are streaming on Facebook, if you are streaming on YouTube, you are streaming on Twitter, Instagram, or you're streaming both on um, uh, both on this place, Telegram. Let me know if you can hear my voice clearly. Let me know. Let me know so that we begin. We have only one hour to spend on this live event tonight. All right. So um, okay, okay. From Facebook, the person said um. Uh, here I'm here. So um, Henry, I hope you are hearing my voice clearly. So um, we have an, a very interesting movie, I say movie or something like that, in particular. So we're going to be doing something here. Uh, okay, you can hear me. Thank God. So um, let's just begin. Uh, I don't have to wait for anybody to come. So uh, we have just to you know continue our class. So if you are streaming on YouTube or streaming on Facebook or streaming anywhere at all, you're highly welcome to this night event so tonight i'm going to be showing you how to create a working Google ad to promote your affiliate product all right so let's just give me a minute let me uh do something All right, sir. All right, all right, all right. I'm back now. So mm, let's begin. Let's begin. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in tonight's event. So I want to do something for me, which is um, go and get your writing materials ready. Get a pen and a booklet, not paper. A booklet. So that you'll be writing things down. So we just have a few things to share here. Um, I think I don't have any more slide to um, this class. So it's going to be a practical class. So make sure that you are, you know, writing things down so that when you carry, when you start, we are going to be up and running. So um, let's get us that. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. All right. So the first thing we're going to do now is we are going to be needing two things. Let me share my screen, please. If you can see the screen now, please confirm that you can see bodily what is on this screen. If you can see my screen boldly, please confirm that you can see that screen I'm sharing right now. So if you can see this particular one now, this particular screen here, you confirm that you can see my screen, confirm you can see my screen so that um, we get um, the side, this is, um, okay, show. Can't see. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Let me add it. So I hope it's showing up now. I hope the screen is showing up right now. Can you, you can see the screen? Can you guys see the screen now? Okay. All right. Uh, thank you so much for, for confirming that. So the first thing I'm saying here is that um, before we continue, this is just something you need to understand. If you don't sell, you will beg and also be in debt. That's the rule of the game, right? If you don't sell, you will beg and also be in debt. So if you must make money, 
doing affiliate marketing or probably doing everything on the internet, you must be willing to do what? Learn how to sell things on the internet. So you must have this um, zero, you must have this um, working system for your own so that you can actually sell and make money on your own. So if you don't sell something, you will beg because if you're not selling something, you'll be broke. So when you are broke, you start begging. Now, you also be in debt because you're going to be borrowing money and you don't have money to pay back, right? So, and the things we need now to start all this uh, class is um, you need money. Yes, you need money to run adverts. And this is just a simple something that I always tell people that if you want to increase your, your business, you want to increase uh, the sales you are making, you need to uh, add money to your ad budget. You need to put money on the ads. You need to run ads for your businesses. So, uh, any particular product you are promoting in affiliate marketing or something like that, you are trying to drive traffic. The aim, main aim of this class is to just show you how to drive traffic using Google Ads. Or just call it Google. I don't know how you pronounce it, but anyway, Google and Google the same thing. So, right, it has zero, zero inside. So, uh, we need money to actually promote any offer we are trying to promote to get traffic. Because the more people you get to talk to, the more money you make on any business model you are actually doing. And also, we are going to be needing a landing page. Now, this landing page is going to be a page that you distribute or share something you want people to do, right? It's going to be a, a landing page that has uh, a, clear, uh, a clear call to action button that tells your leads, the people come to that landing page on what to do, whether to click the link to come to your DM or click the link to come to your email list. So whichever way you are trying to use your own marketing strategy, you must have a clear to cost, uh, clear to action button that displays that okay click here to message me on whatsapp or click here to join my email list so that are the two things here now when it comes to google ads there are some things that people don't really know which is uh, they believe that google ads and youtube ads are not the same but basically google ad and youtube ad are the same that be owned by one company google is one that owns youtube so youtube also is inside the uh, part of google ads now, if you want to run Google Ads, there is different thing on its own. That one is totally different. It must be video. Or you can even do it as a slide, right? As a slide, like, record, like a slide, like I mean, one minute. Because if you are trying to run Google Ads or YouTube Ads, your video must not be 20 minutes. People don't have that time to waste on a particular video. If they don't even like ads. So you must have a simple uh, video that talked about what your offer is going to do for that person so if you are trying to sell a product that talked about how to lose weight you don't start with telling them this thing will make you to do that is tell them what to do first because that first thing you tell them in the next seven seconds is going to make them to okay click or stay on the video to finish so anything that you're going to do maybe probably probably you are going to do youtube videos you need to write you need to create videos you need to create videos on your own you, need to, you know try different aspect of video creation so you can do it on portrait mode you can do it on landscape mode but well, basically, what works on YouTube might not really work on the main Google Ads setup we are going to be doing today. So tonight, we are going to show you uh, two, ma two major ways you can actually run Google Ads to get a lot of people to your DMs. And also, I'm going to be showing you some little ad I have run, like, I think, I ran that ad last year. I'm going to show you how to do displays on the screen. And the one that can work for you, because I believe that everybody has their own strategy. But for me, this is what I works for me, and I, it helped me to get a lot of people to my DM. So um, the first thing I'm going to show here is, uh, let me show you this ad. Uh, please confirm you can see this particular screen here. Uh, let me know if you can see the screen I'm sharing right now. This screen, this screen right here. Are you seeing this screen here? Okay, so uh, this screen I'm showing here now is example of Google Ads. Example of Google, like I see, it has my name on her digital creations. Now, this is an example of Google ads that shows people what to do with a call to action button. It says, Get paid weekly online. Everyone wants to make money online, right? Everybody wants to make money, bit online, weekly, daily, and some other ways. You want to just tell them what to do first. So, you say, Turn your WhatsApp into cash. These people that will see this kind of ad, they will click to see how to turn their WhatsApp into cash. That's the only thing to do. So this, this one said again, do you want to turn your WhatsApp into cash? Uh, cash registration machine. Click here to actually come to my DM. So once you click on this ad, this is like example, a preview of the ad we are trying to run. Okay? This one has a video. Like I said, you can use video format. You can use images. 
but mostly people who are doing these ad creations or something like that, they don't have much. You can see this one now. This one is a full display screen that will splash on your on your phone. Now, the reason why I choose this kind of ad format is because mostly people browse on the internet every day. People stay on the internet. People use the different different kind of models. People use different kind of smartphones. You are using probably you are using Boom Play. You are using um, Audio Mac. You are using all these media players on your smartphone. Most of the time, if you are trying Trying to do something, an ad we just display on your full screen. You have to wait for that uh, timer to finish to skip the ad. So that this particular ad setup here. Now we're going to be using it to run ad because I choose this particular one. Is make money with your phone. Is one I always like very much because it shows people what to do and tell them what to expect in the webinar. Now, if you are trying to run this particular ad setup or something like that, you must have your automation ready. This is going to help you whenever somebody click on your DM or your ad. When it comes to your DM, the autoresponder you have set up already on your WhatsApp, we reply them, tell them what to do, right? Now let's show you. Let me show you another thing again. So uh, we are going to be using a landing page for this thing. Now, what you need to understand again is that with Google Ads, you don't need to put the same way we do it on Facebook. That is like you know showing people. Um, just click once they click on your ad, they'll come directly to your uh, WhatsApp. It doesn't it doesn't work like that on, on Google Ads. The only way you can do it is to have a landing page. You can use your website or you can go to card.co. Let me type the website name here. Website name so that you see what I'm talking about. Card.co. This website here now. This particular thing now, I showed it on the screen. This website here, this website helps you to create a landing page for any offer. All right, you can just click a landing page, a simple landing page that tell people, all right, click here to buy this product, or click here to come to my DM, or anything at all. It must be a simple sales page, all right? It goes to be a simple sales page, or call it landing page, or call it funnel. It must be simple, straight to the point. Tell me what to do. They don't need to come and read 20, 20 pages. They don't you don't need to come and you know give them a lot of grammar. People don't hate people hate reading, um, you know, doing a lot of this stuff on the internet. Probably you are you are good with writing. You want to finish, you want to show your writing skills. That is what not people want to see. People want to see something that is very simple for them, short story or short content that will grab their attention. That's the only thing they want to know. So if you are someone that is a marketer, probably you are doing affiliate marketing and you have a lot of products you are promoting, probably you are promoting a make money in this case, uh, make money products. You must understand that the target audience are people who don't have money. And probably people that have money also want to increase their income. So you must have a target audience in mind before you start running ad on YouTube, on Google ads. You can try with YouTube. Just go to YouTube, just type YouTube ad, right? You're going to see how it's fully step, but here we are going to start by creating a new Google ad account that we can use um run our ad. So the first thing I'm going to do now is the um, let me share this screen here. Right. So this is the interface of our Google Ads manager. You don't need to pay anybody to create this kind of account. You don't need to pay any person to create an ad account for you. You have a Gmail. Your Gmail has a YouTube. Your Gmail has this account, Google Ads. Your Gmail has a lot of things on it. So Google Ads is part of your Gmail um, account and what are part of the features you have there. You can use your laptop and do the same thing I'm doing or you can use your smartphone and do this same thing. Just like smartphone has some limitations on the things that we are actually going to be doing here. So I'm going to show you the simplest way to create campaign, to get traffic. First thing is you must have money. In your ad account, you must have money. That's the thing. So to do that, in this, you just go to your account setup. I don't know that you are seeing this screen I'm sharing right now. This particular screen I'm screen here. Let me know if you are seeing this screen. Once you come to your ad manager, let me confirm first. Let me uh, let me know if you are seeing this screen. Let me know if you are seeing this screen. All right, so uh, let me just zoom it a little bit so that I think uh, most people are using their smartphone to stream this live uh, class. Let me zoom it so that it's going to be like a little bit closer to your screen so that you see what I'm actually doing. So if you see from here, 
this overview of my account all right this overview of my account and if you can see from here this is the how much i've spent so far in this account i think i stopped running ads on this account i think last year and i run different kind of ad campaign you can see i've, I've I, you know i've uh, probably uh paid in 2253 dollars already i have spent 250 dollars on this account and i've gotten like 1.95 clicks and 48,000 impressions now my cost per action is six uh, 0 0.13 cent that means that any place that click on my campaign google charges me this money now let me show you what to do first of all is when you come to your own landing page or probably your own ad account the first thing you're going to see here we have this billing like i said always go to your billing add money to your account if you don't have money if you don't have if you don't have to add money to your account go and get a prepaid card for it you can create like something like uh, you can see the last payment i made was last year december 10th and i made, I made only i i i the payment was 80 dollars or only now i have like seven dollars 37 cents remaining that means if i want to run out now i need to fund my account so on your own it's going to show you here all you need to just do is to fund the account with your credit card or sorry debit card because the difference between a credit card and debit card so you use your debit card it must be a dollar debit card you can get this on your online you can use grade.co you can use uh payday i don't know for payday but i don't recommend it anyways you can use clash uh, uh card you know or you go to go to any bank that that you know you have tell them that you need a dollar account dollar dollar card they will give you the dollar card use it for payment so let's go back to the main um interface so right here i'm going to click on create or new campaign i'm going to click on create 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 or click on create campaign let me go on create you're going to show you these four things leave all the, the remaining three you don't that one is not your concern the main concern you have here is campaign when you look on campaign one thing about google ad is that they are going to show you different things you know we have on facebook we have something called objections I'm sorry uh not objection objective you add objective the one you want to choose now on the part of google we call it google goals or something like that so on your own it has different model you have different had like eight different objectives you can choose we have sales we have leads we have website traffic we have products and brand considerations we have brand awareness and reach we have app promotion you don't need this one anyway you are not an ad for any app any, any app we have local store you don't need this one we have create a campaign without a good guidance don't even click on this particular one so the way we are going to focus mainly is sales and website traffic you just the same thing now you're driving sales online and in app by phone number or in store. Now, if you choose this one, I said get links and other conversion by encouraging customer to take action. Right? Then the third one here says website traffic. Get the right people to visit your website. This is the one that we need. Or you can choose leads, you can choose sales. Right? On this part, I need people to visit my website. I'll click on website traffic now what is going to happen here once you click on website traffic they're going to show you these things use these conversion goals to improve website traffic on your own this is going to it's not going to be here let me let me delete it All right let me delete it. I, I just added this one my um setup already my conversion setup all right so on your own it's going to ask you to select or add goal if you don't want to add this thing you can leave it this is just like you want to use this thing now to improve your website traffic to see how it works on your back end you can track automation tracks a lot of things people that click on your, on your landing page on the cut action button there or anything at all that is where you need to do put this kind of thing if you don't want it you can leave it so click on continue when you click on continue then this is the where the magic begins this means that says select a campaign type Select a campaign type is a way you choose how you want your campaign to look like. Do you want it to be in search? Now, making this campaign to be in search simply means that you want people, let's say, if I go to my Google now, let me share this screen there. If I go to Google now and type start affiliate 
affiliate marketing right start affiliate marketing you're going to see some ad let me find whether i can see ad here let me find whether i can see ad let me just say affiliate marketing just start affiliate marketing i'm supposed to see ad here okay sorry for that i'm using ad block that's why i'm not seeing any ad i'm using a extension called ad block so that i will not see any ad so let me refresh. so i refresh this in uh let's see whether we can see any people that is running ad okay you can see this one now that says sponsored this sponsor simply means like you can see these two ad now one two three these are people that are currently running ad on using such campaign objective this one we i showed you here so I said, uh, select campaign type. All right. This search now simply means that if somebody should go on Google and type start affiliate marketing or make money online, and you have a campaign running in that kind of search time, your campaign will pop up like this one I just showed you here. That is joydigital.com.ng. Make money online with WhatsApp. Now, what is going to happen here now? If I click here, if I click on this link now, look at what is going to happen here right um proceed don't worry about this i'm using ad blocker right if i open this link now you can see this link this is a landing page now look at what's going to happen with this landing page now if i scroll down the only thing this person needs me to do is just to click on something simple which is this button whatsapp button you can see there grant me access now you can just like a simple thing a simple something on the internet that tells people okay Click here to get access to this course or click here to come to my DM or learn more from here. It's going to be a simple sales funnel, a simple sales page, simple one. You can add your testimonials that make people to, you know, arouse curiosity. That will make them to buy or come to your DM to get access to this course. You can see this one is very simple. simple. I can even create this in, in the less than 10 minutes. I can create this thing like this in the less than 10 minutes. It doesn't take me time. Just bring my images, add everything together. I'm good to go. So let's go back to what we are trying to do today, which is these clicks, right? Please let me know if you are, if you are flowing or let me know if you are flowing up here. So what I'm going to do now here is that I'm going to click on this. Normally, I don't use search ad campaign on my Google ads or anything I'm trying to promote on affiliate marketing products. I don't use search. I don't use performance. Now, this performance mass was introduced to Google by Google, ad, I mean, last, last year. They introduced this performance mass. That means this search display shopping demand generations video are in one of these but if you choose this thing now it's going to take you a lot of time you know technically to actually use all the whole steps involved so the only one i choose to go with is this display ad display ad is very very powerful so i'll go to this display then i'm going to put my website link my website link now I'm going to put a simple website link here, right? Put your website link, the landing page you, you designed already. On my own, I have this simple landing page here. You can see from here now. You can see this thing here. This is the landing page I'm working with here, right? The web page people will go after clicking your ad. This is it. This is it here, all right? This is my own landing page I'm using, all right? Please let me know if you are following up. If you are following up, let me know if you are so if you are following up. This link here is the link that people will click once they see my ad and click on the ad. Right? If they see my ad and click on it, they will land on that landing page, which is the link. It don't put your uh, what do you call it? Don't put your WhatsApp link here. It will, it will not work. If you put your WhatsApp here, it's not going to work because Google does not like it. They just like a direct link to anybody. To everybody so if you put whatsapp link here it will not work just put your landing page here that's how to go with it then let's scroll down you can name your campaign anything i can say um let's say affiliates i might you know use something that I can use and remember my ad campaign uh can i'll just say affiliate cm okay something like this now then i'll click on continue the next thing I'm going to do, which is going to happen after this particular step, is set up. All right, set up on your campaign. So let me zoom out very well so that you can see it. 
so let's just hold on i don't know my screen my lap my my network okay it's coming up so this is it here this is the next stage on our campaign which is the campaign settings right now if you look at the right hand side which talks about the weekly estimate this way i just highlighted now weekly estimate which is based on your targeting and setting but not your budget or bid we have like 10 billion impression don't what about this is this just nonsense <laughs> <laughs> no, this will, this will be confused because your ad did not show to 10 million people. All right. So now let's look about the campaign settings. Which place your your location targets? Are you targeting the whole world? Are you targeting the whole country or a particular state? If you are trying to go with Nigeria, that means everybody that is in Nigeria will add. Right? Everybody in Nigeria will see this. Are you Targeting the whole state in Nigeria, but if you want to target the particular set of states, say you don't want the people in other state to see your campaign, you go to enter another location, or you want people that will be only in Lagos to see your campaign, you enter Lagos here. Yeah. Enter Lagos, Lagos, Nigeria here now. Now, if you add, if you type something like Lagos, you will see different matches, different, different options here. We have Lagos, Lagos City. This is it, Lagos City, not the main Lagos. Now, we have another one, which is um, Lagos de Moreno. That's in Mexico City. We have Lagos also in Portugal. We have Lagos also in Chile, right? Now, the one I'm going to choose here is Lagos, Nigeria State. Now, if I want my ad to show to people in Abuja, I will still type Abuja. Depending on the kind of campaign or kind of product you, you, are, you are trying to promote, all right? Depending if you want to select only different states. This one said Federal Capital Territory, Nigeria. Select it. Now, if I choose Port Harcourt, okay, I'm going to see another different um suggestions from them we have this nigeria country we have reverse nigeria state this is the main one we are going to select now if you select potakot potakot town reverse that means only people that are in potakot town will see your ad if you say something like uh, rumola potakot that means any, everybody that stays in, in rumola will only see your ad if you are saying the whole potakot you will not see those except the person that stays in rumola now, the, uh, we have another one here, which is Transamadi in River State. That means anybody that stays in Transamadi, you only see your ad. Now, most people use this particular setup, like, you know, something like this, to actually, you know, show the ad to people they want to buy from them. So, from my own side, which is my own experience, um, depending on what you are trying to sell, depending on the kind of product you want to sell, your, or your own affiliate product, you might decide to choose the whole Nigerians. Trust me, you will get a lot of leads. On my own end, uh, again, uh, to advise is um, I always use zero targeting if I'm trying to run one campaign, the first campaign I'm trying to run. I'll use zero targeting. Then the next campaign I'm going to run, I'm going to check the campaign I did with zero targeting. I'll check the performance and I'll see the state that has the most clicks. Then from there, I'll now set up the next campaign, which is I'm going to select that state only. That is why on your own, the first campaign you're going to run, select Nigeria. That means the whole country. We have location options here. If I choose it, you're going to see here, say presence or interest, people in or regularly in or who have shown interest in your targeted audience or location. Which means if I select this Nigeria now, any person who have been in Nigeria or have left Nigeria, we see this ad. Minimally, not like you're going to see it every time, right? Now we have languages. For me, I don't choose Igbo, I don't choose Aosa, I don't choose Europe, but I only choose English. I want my other speaking only English. I don't want that kind of disturbance in my DM or something like that. Depending on what I'm trying to sell. Not when I'm speaking to somebody, that person is telling me that I don't hear English. So that kind of thing, avoid it by all means. Use your cap, you even fly, don't even add any other language here. Unless you don't have to speak your dialect very, very well. You can choose to add Arabic. You can choose to add Greek. You can choose to add Hebrew. If you don't have to speak it though, if you don't have to speak it, don't put your ad 
or this kind of stress. Leave it at only English. That means any man that can understand English, we only see your ad. We have more settings. You click on more settings. It shows you a lot of things here. Now, we have something we call the ad relations. Um, if you want to go deeply into ad, there are so many things to actually learn from this ad particular side. Now, leave this ad rotation to optimize. Let Google handle all the rotation for you because you are not the one going to do it for show Google. Okay, show my ad to particular people one time in a day, right? Leave it at optimize. We have you go to more settings again. We have this one all day. Now, do you want to run this campaign to four hours in a day, or you want to schedule it? Let's say by this time in the 11 p.m. the night, let this campaign stop. Then by 5 a 5 a.m. in the morning, let this campaign start. That way, you are actually minimizing the amount of money you spend on your creative on your ad. And also getting more tra getting more you know metrics more, getting more conversions on your ad it depends on your own anyways now we have show on devices now most people i think um depending on what they are trying to say anyways you can decide on the kind of device you want your ad or your you know campaign to be showing if i go to show our device i can choose to show my ad to only people that are using mobile phone I don't want them to, I don't want people that are using uh, computers to see my campaign. I will deselect it. If you're using laptop to browse any website, you will not see my campaign. You will not see my ad. If you're using tablet, you will not see it. Only if you're using your mobile phone, that is when you can see my campaign. It depends on your own choice. On my own, no. Uh -huh. Leave everything like this. Just as default. We have operating systems. We have our network. If you want to deserve your ad on different networks, click on network. We have Nigeria, right? We have Wi-Fi. We have this network now. That means if you want to deselect some people, they say, for example, I'm using MTN. If you don't want your ad to show to people that are using MTN, you can disable MTN. That is wickedness, but don't do it. If you want your ad to show to people that are using only, let's say, uh, Glue, all right? You choose only glow. This platform means that only glow. And you want your you ad to switch to only glow. If you don't want the ad to show to Nigerians, mark Nigeria. Your ad will not show to Nigerian people. <laughs> but don't do it. Now, if you want the ad to show to people that use only Wi Fi, select Wi Fi. That means if you're not connected to Wi Fi, you will not see my campaign. That is how to mirror out people that are not serious. You know, there's more to Google Ad than Facebook. Google Ad is a very, very complicated thing. If you just, you know, practice it, you get used to it. So if you want your campaign to show to people that are only using Wi-Fi, fine. That means if somebody is browsing through their phone using a MTNet or Glow or Ether, they will not even see your campaign. They will not see your ad. It's only when they connect to Wi-Fi. You know, Nigerians now, they don't use Wi-Fi mostly. Only people when they, when they, know be, they don't have money to get, uh, they were just looking for free Wi-Fi. So if you select Wi-Fi, that means... You will waste money on daily or campaign. So leave everything like that. So they don't go and waste money. <laughs> so we have all settings again. Go to more settings. Again. We have this um campaign URL options. Leave this one. This one another grammar on its own. Leave this one. Don't go and kill yourself with all this uh, optimization. These are optionals. We have another more settings. You click here. We have uh, content exclusion. Let's say, for example, now you want to. Okay, let me open it. Let me show you something that has happened here. If I go to content exclusions now, and you know, this display ad displays your campaign on some websites, right? Now, I want this my campaign to show on a particular type of you know websites and not show on a particular type of website. Let's say I don't want my campaign to show the people that are doing bet Niger. You understand? I will come here, I'll I'll just type. You know, I will come here and disable all the, all, all of them. Let's say, for example, I have content label, I have uh, sensitive content, I have content type. I don't want my campaign to show to a website that displays sensitive social issues. I will select it. That means any website that shares this kind of uh, information like this, my campaign will not show there. Or if I come to this place, they said park domain. Normally, I don't like this particular one. That one, this one, I will get this. I will select it. I will select it so that my, my campaign will not show here. Because most people 
don't have any business to show to come to this particular place. Now, another one you can choose to go with is we have uh schedule suggestive. Well, um, it depends. If you don't want your campaign to show there, you can disable it, disable everything. But if you want to get a lot of people, they can talk. Uh -huh. Leave everything like this. Right? Like this. Now you go to more settings again. We have a lot of all of that. We have a dynamic ad. You click on it. Uh, we choose the dynamic. Well, don't go and click here. This one is not normally, it's not needed anyway. Just leave it. We have more settings. We have start and end date. Online, we have on Facebook campaign. We have start date. We have, you can tell, you can tell Google, okay, start my campaign in next week or next one year. If you, if you, if you, if you can be alive by then, I bet you don't die. <laughs> all right, that. But there's no going to, it's not going to be that, you know, don't go and tell Google to start your campaign next 20 years. Ah, it's not possible now. Start the campaign that same day. Now, today is 4th November, right? I'm going to send my campaign to start today. Or I'll make it tomorrow. I'll make it like 5th, that's Sunday. Right? Here is okay. I'll click on next. If I choose O, then you come for daily budget. They charge in dollars. <laughs> that's why you say you must have money. You must have money to do this kind of campaign. But don't worry about the money I spent. The money you spend on campaign on Google, you are going to make it times five, times five. So let me just say, normally my daily budget every day is only going to be ten dollars, right? That's how much I spend. If I'm trying to target, you know, test campaign, I'll start with ten. Some people start with hundred. It depends on your budget anyway. I can say twenty dollars a day, right? If you have the money, if you have like hundred dollars, you can, you know, risk it like five days by spending twenty twenty dollars. All right in five days or you can just choose to go with ten dollars you know ten dollars in a, every day right that means in the next 10 days you spend hundred dollars it's possible all right then we have this bidding campaign bidding leave everything as conversions all right we have all of them we have a variable impressions leave everything as conversions like this then we have um automatically minimize maximize conversion how to get conversions is it you didn't want it to manually or you want to get it automatic for me leave this thing like this then unless you want to have a big strategies anyway if you don't have a big strategy you don't need you don't have any business to come and be telling google do this thing for me like this when you don't know what you are doing so what you're going to do now is just leave this thing here the way google sit it so we come here you click on next so we have something we called optimized targeting right then confirm is me now this is me oh god so we have ad targeting now you come to this ad targeting now you know say suggest who should see your ad who do you want to see your ad do you want do you want anybody to see your ad do you want um to be to see your ad who do you want to see your do you want to take you to see your ad this is where you tell google who you want to see your ad it's not okay science you can decide to leave it like this go to show your ad to a lot of people here you click on this pencil button right you choose the kind of keyword the kind of keyword you want google to show your ads to that means the targeted people that you want to sell. Let me say, for example, you are trying to sell to people that are, that are you know, nursing mothers, or you are selling baby toys, you are selling anything. You can just come here and type baby toys. Right? Just type baby toys here. Go to display the association, you select it. So, any keyword you type here, Google will show this campaign, this your ad you are trying to run to that people. So, that means everybody that is searching for baby toys will be seeing your campaign. That is why when I searched for that affiliate marketing, I saw that campaign because those guys are optimizing for affiliate marketing. So if you want your campaign to show a lot of people, for me, or let me just say baby. Just type baby now, you're going to see some suggestions here. We have baby and toddler feeding. We have baby and toddler clothing. We have children's uh, clothing. We have children's products. We have um, napples. We have baby hygiene products. Depends on what you are selling though. This is for you to get the most out of your campaign. But if in case you want to target, you get everybody, leave this campaign segment to just like broad, we call it broad targeting. Right? Broad targeting. You're targeting everybody. So 
when it comes to this particular one, you can select on advertising and marketing services, website design and development, techno files. We have dating services. We have social media enthusiasts. We have business and industrial products. We have shoppers. We have beauty and awareness. We have sales and marketing jobs. We have lifestyles and hobbies. Now, let me shock you. Um, for example, now you go to Google and search for uh, jobs. Maybe you're looking for a job on the internet or you're looking for a job anywhere in Nigeria. And you go and search for anything like uh, best paying jobs in Lagos or best paying jobs in Abuja or best, uh, best paying jobs in Sokoto. And once you leave, you know, once you leave um, your Google search or Google search, come to Facebook or anywhere at all, you will see recommendations from that same search you did for like one week or two. If you are searching for beauty pot, maybe you want to remove acne, you want to remove this, uh, maybe you have you need a you have skin problem, you want to get a product that will solve or cure that skin uh, problem you have. When you search for something that has to do with beauty and wellness, something that has to do with that kind of product, once you leave that search, Google will start recommending advertisement, some ads for you. That is it. They will start recommending ads for you. So on your own, you start getting people to see your ad. Now, for example, now let me show you something I did. Let me show you this campaign now. If you can see this particular screen here, which is said, a role to secure your place. Application ongoing, apply now. Simple call to action um, words or sentences, or anything at all. So once I click here, open or close, that means if I click here now, I'm going to this guy's campaign. So that means that I've been looking for maybe, uh, I'm looking for to take my master's online or something like that. That's why I'm seeing this campaign. Anything you are searching on the internet, if you come back to the next day on some websites or maybe job websites, you will see that same thing you searched for before on some websites. So let me show, go back to what I'm trying to do now. Let me uh, continue this thing now. So if I'm going for, let's say, I'm looking for the best place to take my girlfriend to, to go and drink and eat food. You see it here. Let's say now I'm selling something that has to do with food. I'll select food. That means if somebody is searching for, um, searching for how to, the best, restor uh, best restaurant near his vicinity, or he, he, maybe probably he want to travel to a particular place, now, he's not searching for best restaurant in Lagos or Abuja or uh, anywhere at all. He's that person add to me. Or if I want to take a loan from Lapu, I run away from this country. Then I have this business loan. <laughs> if I select business loan, that means I want to take a loan from Pampay or Ope or Pan Credit or Fair Money. If I search for a business loan, I'm looking for a company that, 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 that pays loan because if you go to a bank and collect loan, my hand no deal. I bet this is just a class. So if you go to business loans, then that means you are trying to sell loans offers to people. Now, people who are interested in loans are going to see your campaign. We have news and politics. Of course, you know that there's nothing good in news and politics. It's just bad news. They all they see our money. So this one is not known for me. We have travel guide. Hey, now this one is the, the, the main cocoa. Now, you are trying to travel to London. You travel to, uh, you know, you try to jump back to Canada. There are affiliate, affiliate products that talk about how to travel to Canada, UK, Germany, all these countries. You will see all these travel guide, travel, you know, different of them on the Google. Now, people set up this campaign to target you because you are looking for how to travel out of this country. Where are you running to? Stay here. Let's build our country. So we have clothing accessories. And we have banking and finance. We think about banking and finance. And we have, um, okay, see this? We have affiliate marketing programs. We have home purchase loans. We have uh, resumes and portfolios. We have certified public accountants, affiliate programs. You just search for these things, you know, choose the one you want to target. For, for me, if I want to go with, like, like I said before, I always go with zero targeting. All right? Zero target. That means zero segments. I'm targeting everybody. So people, will, you are going to get a lot of people on your DM, also on your landing page. But one thing you need to understand is that that's your landing page you built. Make sure that this, the site speed is very, very good because people in Nigeria here have this short uh, 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 attention span. They don't like to waste like two minutes on a the website. They don't leave. So if your website takes time to load, it takes heaven and air to come down before your website to open up. My dear, before you start on a campaign, test your website speed first. Test it to know whether the speed is okay. 
to know whether it's, it's you know loading very very fast like five seconds your website is open like five seconds is even 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 um too long so when you start load like one seconds zero seconds you know then we have this we called another one which is a uh, demographics we have keywords we have topic we have placements now if i go to demographics now right then this is where you need to choose people you want to show your ad now there's something i always do here which is i don't want to show my ad to people that don't have money because if i started to broke people you will suffer the <laughs> now from the age of 18 years to 24 years i know they sell anything to those people those people are broke to me right i would select it i know they even they add them for my campaign sometimes i would select 35 years f because it depends on what they are selling though it depends on the kind of thing you are selling now we have something we call unknown 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 when you consider me to unknown i'll remove it i don't want anything like unknown on my campaign i want to select i want to see i want my ad to show to people to read people i don't want it to show to people that are not uh, maybe probably dead or spirits that are operating or operating phone now we have something about 25 34 35 55. now if you check the kind of campaign or the kind of product you want to sell probably it's going to be a skill set that people need to learn to get results there's something you need to consider age limit if for example now you're trying to promote a a forest marketing course or, or a crypto trading course understand that people that are 65 years are almost close to the mother earth so you remove it don't go and target them before you waste the money the same thing with people that are 55 years those they have seen war in nigeria no add those guys those kind of people then the next thing again is people that are 45 years those ones they say sometimes sorry for this thing, they say that a fool at 40 is the fool forever most of them are not fools but just that they miss opportunities you can still show them mercy by leaving these 45 years here most of them will click and try to learn to get mastery to learn a lot of things now we have not a parent we have parents leave everything like this i beg leave everything like this we are 35 years those ones that are people that have missed opportunities they have missed their luck in life probably they're looking for a new way to make money or they have you know wasted a lot of money in positive scheme because most people waste money in positive scheme they think that making money online is just a simple something like this i'm talking i'm doing now is like like teaching people how to run ad it's a skill so if i decide to go with 35 years and 44 years that means i'm targeting people who can actually do something simple and make money Let's, for example i'm teaching people how to import from china that means i'll select all the whole ages but these people that 18 years and 24 years i don't go select them lie lie i don't go fit so depends on what you are selling if a product you are selling is fifty thousand naira, there are people that are 24 years old that can't afford fifty thousand naira. it's not rocket science so to avoid that story is that i don't make my parents any money no add them so once somebody is 25 years that means that person is not matured you are now you know adults but in africa here once 25 years you are matured in america once you are uh 24 18 years you are mature in africa here once 25 you are mature so you select it you have 55 and 64. these ones that are maybe a little bit closer to the mother earth the only thing you can have they can just go i mean jesus christ so <laughs> we have you can leave everything like this and click on done you can see it here now you can see my my target demographics now we have another targeting again all right we come back here we have keywords um anyways keyword works and it does not work sometimes now this keyword is like let me show you what it says suggest terms related to your product or services to target relevant websites now if you want your web if you want your campaign to show to daily trust newspaper or the nation newspaper or you want a campaign to show to Niger Loaded. Or you wanted to show to this website where the people get. I want you to show there. Or you want a campaign to show to Tech Crunch or Tech Cabal. All these websites, you want the campaign to be showing there. You can target it. You can just, because you know the kind of things this, this guy published. Let's say you're promoting how to um, get, get weight. You just come here. You just say weight loss. Sorry, waiting on the type. Okay, wait, loss. It's like a keyword you are targeting on that particular thing you are trying to program. That means if somebody is very chubby, they have this 
um what do you, what do you call it they have this uh, arm membership and they are looking for a way to be like a normal human being so that means anytime they start with lost products your campaign will show up and that website that you're targeting will come and carry your campaign inside now i don't know whether you have browsed through website you have seen a lot of things let me show you. let me check whether i can see sir. uh let me open what the site i have here so that you see what I'm talking about. Just hold on. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Let me open the website. Now, you select the kind of keyword you want to choose. But if you're running a campaign or have to do how to, how to do with make money, leave everything like this, anyways. Unless you are not doing uh proper, or maybe you are doing strategic advertising, but if you are just starting out. Make sure that your campaign, everything works simply. Like, it's going to be simple. Or if you want to get keyword ideas, you put a website landing page. Let me say TechCrunch. Well, get them. Dot com. Now, TechCrunch.com, we have a lot of keyword on it, depending on what you are trying to target. All right? But for me, if I'm trying to run a zero targeting, right or keyword i will not put anything here i will not put anything here so look at this website i'm talking about here let me disable because i'm using ad blocker let me refresh it so that you see the campaign i'm talking about okay hold on let me show you something let me share this screen here please confirm that you can see screen please confirm that you can see my screen this particular screen here Confirm you can see the screen here. Are you seeing this particular one here? This particular one that says sell pass um, your daily income blog. Please confirm that you can see this screen so that I will go ahead. All right, so um, this screen now says this is a blog, anyways. This is a blog, and you can see they have ads, ad things. We call it ad things, something like that. Ad things. Now, this campaign we are creating here, we turn and go to that that website and turn to add things, right? Now, these are the keywords. Let's say if I come here because this blog is about how to make money, you are not seeing my answer. So, if I'm trying to make money online, if I see this kind of thing, I will click on it. Now, when somebody click on your campaign, Google will charge you. They call account. That is it. So you must pay money to make money. Another one is this one that says, uh, if this guy see this, this, uh, the, the length of this campaign. Now, you can see all of them here. N3.5 dollar per answer. That, that means if I should create here, Google, these people will collect money from me. So let me click on is Apple marketing a business or not? Let me click on it. You can see this thing now, option now. This is a campaign people are setting up. So the same way I'm doing this my own now, that means this will are targeting me because I'm looking for how to make money online. That's why I'm saying this now. They say make money from answer simple questions. We pay you in cash. Simple and fun. I know you go even try this business, but I don't get that kind of strength. So you that are looking for how to make money very, very fast, you can try this one. For me, not be me. All right, let's go back to our class here. So here, I will just remove everything. I don't want to have any keyword. Then go to the next one, which is topic placement. Now let's go to placement. The topic is your just just leave the topic anyways. Then go to placement. We have, have um, a website. Now they said suggest websites, video apps where you like to show your campaign. Some people make magic here. There are some magic that people do here. You can choose the website you want your campaign to be showing. You can choose a YouTube channel that has a lot of followers or a lot of subscribers that you want people that watch it as um, YouTube channel to see your campaign. Let's say, for example, now you have a YouTube channel. Let's say Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast has about 100 and something, 100 and something million followers, subscribers on YouTube. Now you are targeting him. That means anybody that's watching his videos is going to be seeing your campaign. That's when you click on this channel. You go to Google. You copy the channel link. Go and copy it. I don't need to show you how to copy channel link. Go to go, copy, go, go and copy somebody's channel link. 
you put it up here. That means you are targeting that person's channel. Let's say Frank, uh, Frank, Fra Franklin Emmanuel. He has about 200,000 follow, 200,000 subscribers. Any person that, or uh, let's say Daniel Hosso, Daniel Hosso has about 300,000 subscribers. You are targeting those guys that anybody, any guy that is watching their channel will be seeing your campaign. It's another good way. You have websites, you choose. We have YouTube videos, you choose. We have applications. You add a kind of application, say Boom Play, because Nigerians like Boom Play too much. I don't know why. You, you just start Boom Play. You add it. You start uh, Spotify, Apple Music, all these uh, audio mark them. And here, you add all these things here. This way, you add it. But for my own, yeah, just leave everything there so that you show to all websites everywhere. All right? It's going to show to websites, categories, YouTube videos, YouTube channels, and click on done. Then I think we should go to next option, which is going to next. All right? Go to next. And the next thing we're going to do now is let's come back here. I don't know why they say um, now me they do this video they say confirm is you now me I beg I beg, I beg now me <laughs> now this is where you do the magic it is where you set up everything you want to do now they're going to give you some head this particular stage we give you some headache because if you don't do it the right way you will get a lot of issues so let's go ahead don't touch this final URL don't touch this place I beg this is a landing page that website link we added on the first video the first uh, step. Then let's scroll down a little bit. We have this uh, business name. Of course, I'll add my name now. Uh -huh. I'll add my name. At least now. Now, my name is going to be showing on my campaign. All right? My, this name I added here. Add your name. It can be your business name. It can be anything. It can be anything at all you want to. You, if, you, if you want to add Tinibu. J. President Tinibu. Or Bala Blue. Say Bala. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> All right. Say Bala Blue. I'm Bala Blue here. Now, this is like a name or a business name that people will see on your campaign. Now we have, we have uh, images. We have images. You can go to click on add images. We have like you can add up to fifteen images. Fifteen images. So that means it's going to have a lot of variations on your campaign. Your campaign is going to have a lot of images. That way, people can be clicking. Now, you don't need to come and be designing, unless you're a designer. Uh -huh. Unless you're a designer, you know how to design with Google, you know how to do the Canva, you know, stuff like that. If you don't know how to design with Canva, eh, you leave it. You can see how I'm going to add up to 10 images right here. Now, these images, I have not designed it. I'll just pick it on the Google search um, suggestions here and add it. It says suggest, uh, suggest images. I'll click here. I'll click on add plus images. Now, what you need to be paying attention is this place they said add strength. Watch what is going to be happening. If I start to put details, this add strength is going to be changing. We have images, we have videos, we have headlines, we have descriptions. Now, let's go and add images. Just be watching this add strength. It's going to change once we start adding images. Now, you can say at least one landscape image is required. And at least one square image is required. We are going to add up to 15 images. That's what they say you should do. Uh -huh. So from here, this is where you now choose the kind of images you want. You can see from here, these are the images I have free stock, free affiliate marketing. We have we have this kind of gear. Now, this gear looks like somebody from Abia State, anyways. Um, she's happy, she's her with her phone. So something like this now you can choose it now i've added this image on my campaign already i selected it now i have another which is this guy that is pressing laptop and money is coming out from the laptop let it now we have two images now we have two after two um two over 15. this girl i love her let me add it i'll marry her very soon these are the ones maybe my concubine let me add it then you can add many images though uh -huh. so let's come and do something else the next thing we're going to do now is to search for a image an image let's say we've got this place you said um website or social or asset library your asset library are images you already uploaded all right you already uploaded that's why you have this asset library you already uploaded you can upload the image on your own now i love this guy look at my my twin brother here i'll add him i love i love the guy I'll add him again. Those, those that he has bad hair. So this one that looks like my uncle. 
I'll add a guy. I'll add this particular one here. Now, these are images I want to be showing. I want people to see my ad. Oh, look at the ad campaign I ran before. This image here, I, I did it before. So, um, this is Michael Olatunji. I don't know that you guys know about him. I have helped him to run ad on before or in forest course. So, I'll come back here. I go to free stock images. You see this place now? This is where I need to add, search for any kind of image I want to add. I can search for anything. Let's say Tinebu. I will see Tinebu image here. Any image I want to search, I will search for it here. Let's say uh, smiling woman. Smiling, uh, let's say smiling dark woman. Now, what, what happened here? You can see, it. oh, Kiruka. You can see this girl now. Now, I want these people to be on my campaign. If I choose to be, if I choose them to be, I'll add them. If I don't want them, uh, after I'm not, I'm not getting married to them. They are free images on Google, right? You can search for, you can see everything here. They are smiling. You know, if you use women for campaign, they give you money. If you use men for campaign, they give you money. But on this side of the old world, I choose to use anyone I want to. Anyone works for me. So I'll click on save. Now let's see what is going to happen. Now you can see I've added like one my image is complete. So I have like um I think 12 images here. They will have logo. I don't have any logo. Let me try and add logo. My logo is going to be simple something. I'll add this logo here. Okay, let me add myself. Let me look at myself here. You can upload your own image. That's my logo. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to add videos. If I add videos, I'll add videos. So I'm going to add videos now videos i have here right you can search on youtube if they have any you can say make money that's why i said you can decide to go and create a image now if you click on any of these images the, any of this uh youtube now these people's youtube videos is going to be showing all your ad but it's not good so there is a website called invideo.io invideo Dot I, let me drop the link on this place. It call it the website name is um video.io website name here. You can use this website name here, this website here to create images for different campaigns, right? For different campaigns you are setting up. So this website now you can use to you know create any kind of images for your campaign anywhere at all you want to go with so let's now go ahead let me consider what i'm doing here for here i don't have any images i don't have any videos what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to headline the first headline is what you can like we have like 30 characters remaining what i'm going to do here is i'm going to add like turn your whatsapp to cash don't add, don't add the capital letter through that because if I have capital letter through that, it's going to have issues. So let's see, let's watch, uh, see what is happening our campaign. All right now, we have another one which is, um, another, another headline which is, um, make money with your phone, make your money. In Nigeria today, okay. I say free webinar webinar today. Right. So you can add different headlines, and it's going to be showing here. Okay, it's going to be showing on this place. Say preview your campaign. So let's be, just be going. Let's be going. We have this, um, which is okay. We added like how many headlines? One, two, three, four. We have long headline. You can say, click here to to learn how to make money online with your smartphone. In Nigeria, now these are keyword anyways. These are all this is all this is here are keyword anyways. Learn how to make money, are keyword. 
how to make money is a keyword how to make money online is a keyword how to make money with your smartphone is a keyword how to make money online with your smartphone in nigeria is a keyword so we have descriptions here yeah this one works very very well you can say something like this you say like 90 characters remaining say join my next batch of trend join the next batch okay join the next batch and learn how to make money online in nigeria that are not headlines make money online today by turning your whatsapp into a make into an income generating machine right then you can add many you can add, you know up to five description uh, description of your campaign you can say up to five add up to five now if you add it now look at what's happening now. you can see my campaign now you can see this this demo now you can see the, what i'm trying to do now let me go to website and apps you, let me show you the this the preview of our campaign this is how our applic this is how our campaign looks like you can see it here now so anybody that see this in our on their browser they will click on open because it shows that make money with your phone simple something they click on open automatically it's going to open and come to your landing page then from your landing page it's going to take them to your whatsapp we have different variations of this anyways look at another variation of this campaign let me show you you can see another variation of this campaign you can see another variation now now this kind of display ad now we display on that person's phone the screen will just be filled with this campaign look at another campaign look at another the another vari variation of this campaign here look at that one here you can see this one now another format so google will be the one to show people different kind of ad you have if you have like that's why i said i like 15 images so that you have lots of ad variations lot of ad variations look at another variation again uh this one looks very nice you can see a free webinar free money webinar today join bala blue make money online today by turning your whatsapp into an income generating machine this is an example of ad we come to youtube and gmail this is how your ad shows on youtube probably you have seen this on youtube something like this on youtube before but you don't know that it's someone that is trying to set up this thing like this now this is how it is shown now you have different variations anyway look at another variation of the youtube ad now this one is going to be on let's say somebody's watching a youtube video now on the youtube video you are seeing something like this this is your ad look at another variation here look at another one here now this is another one inside your gmail this one shows inside your gmail account so anywhere you choose you can see how everything looks like now you can see it now if i go to my gmail for example for me right now you are going to do something like this campaign promotions now these are people that are running ads on google and i try to target you to sell from sell to you so you choose the one that works for you like i said always make sure that you add up to that 15 images so that you can get a lot of you know a lot of um uh, link clicks and a lot of things on your own so you can add anything you want to add, add you know any kind of topic now if you are done if you are done just click on next okay you click on next then from here this is where you see your ad and everything about your ad campaign you know if you love everything in this campaign it's, it's checking for errors right it's checking for errors if there's any error in your campaign it will notify you to go and check it but if there's no error you are good to go the only thing you just need to just do is just hit on you know you just hit the campaign which is a hit it uh submit uh, campaign and you are good to go so there's no hard thing when it comes to google ad unless you didn't follow up the you know everything about it so if everything is working and if there's no errors in your campaign 
there's a button that is going to be below here that says submit okay submit you just submit your campaign it's going to be under review anyways you go to like i think 10 minutes or latest is like 10 minutes or five minutes or sometimes it can take like two days or something like that anyways depending on the kind of campaign you're running and it's going to be approved your campaign will start running right so i think that's going to be all for tonight's uh, class now this class is also Recorded. So it's going to be on my YouTube also on my what do is I just probably um Facebook and drop it under this video we are doing today or go to YouTube and do the questions there. I'll get back to you on that. So that's going to be for tonight's class. Thank you so much for honoring this invite and I hope you learned something today. And uh, please make sure you put it into practice, not only by learning, learning, learning. Make sure you put everything into practice. And that is going to be all, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time.